Hello everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about linked list implementation using Stack. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our session for today. So first up, what exactly is a linked list? So linked list is a dynamic data structure. It allocates memory dynamically. The nodes are maintained in a non-continuous memory. That is, in linked list, we have nodes. So each and every node is connected via a pointer, which points to the address of the next node. Each node contains next pointer, that is the next pointer's address, which keeps the reference to the next node. And it also has another section which stores the data. The topmost node always contains null in its address. And this is how a linked list looks like. So this is the top, which is the beginning position of the linked list. And this is the address of the first location. And this is the next node. This is the following node. Then this is the last node. And this points back to the head node. So this is how you can implement a stack like data structure using linked list. You can see that we can perform stack like operation. That is the elements are located one above the other and the top is pointing to the head node. Now let us go through the implementation of stack using linked list. First, we will go through traversing of stack using linked list. So displaying each node of the linked list representing stack is termed as traversing. Copy the head pointer to the temporary pointer and then move temporary node through all the nodes and display values of each node. So you can see the animation here will explain you how the traversal goes through the linked list in real time. Now another linked list implementation of stack is the push operation. So adding a new node to the top of the stack is termed as push operation. Generally in stack we have three operations that is push, pop and peak. So one of the operation is push where you add an element into the stack. In the same way using linked list you can add a new node to the stack and point it as the top of the stack or the first element which represents the top in terms of stack. Now create a node first and allocate a new memory to it. If the list is empty and node consists of data and null is the address, it will be inserted as the first node. If there is some node already existing, then add a new node at the beginning to avoid violations. So the following animation will help you understand how we add a new element or the top element to the stack using linked lists. Now followed by the push operation, we have the pop operation. So now let us go through the pop operation. Removing a node from the top of the stack is termed as pop operation. In the same way, we will be eliminating the first node from the linked list which is termed as top. Underflow condition may occur when you try to remove the node if the stack is already empty. In stack, node can be removed from one end only. Therefore, the value stored in the head pointer must be deleted and the node must be freed. Followed by the pop operation, we have the peak operation. Retrieving the topmost node of the linked list representing stack without removing the linked list node from the top of the stack is termed as peak operation. Generally, when you're using a stack data structure, just retrieving the value of the top node is called as peak operation. You're not going to eliminate or you're not going to add a new element to the top. You're just going to copy the element or you're just going to retrieve the element which is pointed as top. This operation is called as peak. Now, in the linked list, you can also perform this operation of peak. Now, with the theory discussed, let us execute a practical program based on stack implementation using linked list. Now, on my screen, you can see a code example using which we will implement stack using a linked list. Now, here we have the pop operation, push operation, and top, and then the main function. Don't worry about the code. This particular code snippet will be attached in the description box below or you can also request us and we will have it sent to your mail ID and you can understand the code and try executing in your local system. 
Now, without further ado, let's directly run the code. So there you go. The code got successfully compiled and we have tried to add some elements into the stack that is A, B, C. And C is being the topmost element of the stack and that element has got popped and followed by that the element on the top currently after C being popped out as B and the node element B got popped again and the only element which was present in the stack is A and that element is also popped out after performing the pop operation and now currently the stack is empty. You can see that we have tried to push the elements A, B, C and also we tried to pop the elements A, B, C. Now with that we have come to an end of this particular tutorial on implementation of stack using linked list. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this tutorial or if you need the code that we have executed in this particular tutorial then please feel free to write us down in the comment section below and we will be happy to help you out. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.